Today I am going to talk about microwave active device that is magnetron. Learning outcome at the end of this video you will be able to draw and explain the construction of cavity magnetron. You will be able to justify the statement that magnetron works as an oscillator. What is magnetron? Magnetron is a self excited oscillator. It is a cross field tube called M type tube. The direction of electric field that accelerates the electron beam is perpendicular to the axis of magnetic field. So electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular so it is called as cross field tube. Magnetrons are used as radar, radar transmitters and microwave ovens. Magnetrons are characterized by high peak power, small size, efficient operation and low operating voltage. Types of magnetrons. So, split anode or negative resistance magnetron is the first type. Now, the question is negative resistance. So, you can think and write the answer to the question. What is the meaning of negative resistance? You can pause the video for one minute and can write down the answer. I hope you have written the answer. In electronics, negative resistance is the property of some electrical circuits and devices in which increase in voltage across the device terminal results in decrease in electric current through it. This property is used in electronic oscillators and amplifiers at microwave frequencies. So, negative resistance magnetron make use of negative resistance between two anode segments but having low efficiency and useful for the frequencies less than 500 megahertz. Second type of a magnetron is cyclotron frequency magnetron. Again, you can think and write the answer to the question, what is the meaning of cyclotron? You can pause the video for one minute and can write down the answer. I hope you have written the answer. A cyclotron is a type of a particle accelerator in which charged particles accelerate outward from center along a spiral path. So cyclotron frequency magnetron depends on the synchronism between frequency of operation depends on the synchronism between the alternating component of electric field and electrons oscillating in a direction parallel to this field. It is useful for the frequencies greater than 100 megahertz. Last type is a traveling wave or a cavity magnetron. In this video, we will be talking in detail about cavity magnetron. Can you tell me what is a microwave cavity? You can think and write the answer to this question. You can pause the video for one minute and can write down the answer. A microwave cavity is a closed metal structure. The cavity confines electromagnetic fields in the microwave spectrum and acts as a special type of a resonator. The structure can be hollow or filled with a dielectric material. So cavity in a simple sense is a closed metal structure. So traveling wave cavity magnetron works on the principle of interaction of electrons with rotating electromagnetic field of constant velocity. So the types are negative resistance magnetron, cyclotron frequency magnetron and cavity magnetron but we will be talking in detail about a cavity magnetron. So let us see the construction of cavity magnetron. Cavity magnetron includes cathode, anode cavities, permanent magnets producing magnetic field, RF out using coupling probe. So this is a construction diagram of cavity magnetron. Here you can see there is a cathode. Surrounding to this is the anode. These are the anode cavities and the anode to cathode voltage is applied by using this filament leads. Output can be taken from one of the anode cavity using the coupling loop as shown. To this structure, a perpendicular magnetic field is applied as shown here. So in this direction there will be electric field. In this perpendicular direction there will be magnetic field. So electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other so it is called as a cross field tube. Another construction diagram shown here is at the center there is a cathode surrounding to these are other anode cavities. From one of the anode cavity output is taken and the perpendicular magnetic field is applied. 
this are the cooling fins are also shown and this part is zoomed and shown here there's a cathode surrounding are the anodes and the space between anode and cathode is called interaction space about the RF field and electron trajectories we'll talk in detail about in the working cavity magnetron working its working can be explained by electron trajectories consider the first case where no magnetic field is applied B equal to 0 magnetic flux density is 0 so but the electrons emitted from cathode will move towards anode along a straight path as shown by electron A the space between anode to cathode is called as an interaction space the second case when small amount of magnetic field is applied which is less than BC BC is called as a critical magnetic flux density in that case the electron takes the curvature path as shown by the small, uh, electron B a smaller curved path as shown by electron B now I consider the case when B is equal to BC the electron emitted from cathode touches the anode and returns back as shown by the path C and in the last case when if I increase the applied magnetic field which is B greater than BC the electron emitted from cathode returns back to cathode at early stage as shown by the electron E the electron D so these types of electrons are not useful for oscillations whereas the electron which is taking longer path in the interaction space are useful so let us see it's working before that let us see the electron trajectories the blue color line showing B equal to 0 the electron taking straight path green line showing the electron taking curved path when B is less than BC and the red line shows that B equal to BC electron is taking longer time in the interaction space which is really required for oscillation and the yellow line shows B greater than BC the electron is taking less time in the interaction space and returning back so these are not useful whereas this type of red color type of trajectory is much more useful pi mode of magnetron there are zero mode and a pi mode of magnetron zero mode is the one which is shown here where there is no RF only electric field and magnetic field is there whereas pi mode where some sustained oscillations are already available in the magnetron some small amount of RF field is already available in the magnetron and why it is called as a pi mode because the adjacent anode cavities have the RF which is 180 degree out of phase so phase difference is pi so it is called as pi mode of magnetron what I mean by this is if RF here is positive going then the RF here is negative going again positive again negative in that way the space between the anode to cathode is called interaction space in this interaction space the, the interaction takes place between the electrons and the RF field the interaction takes place in two ways one is when the RF is positive going here that time the electron interacts with the RF in such a way that the electron takes energy from the RF field and returns back to the cathode at early stage because electron has gained energy so returning back at the early stage so this type of electrons are called as unfavorable electrons whereas the electrons which is emitted when the RF is going negative that time the electron gives its energy to RF as the electron is giving its energy to RF field the electron reduces its velocity and remains in the interaction space for a longer time keep on giving its energy to RF field and returns to the anode at a later stage these type of electrons which is taking a longer path in the interaction space by giving its energy to RF field are useful electrons and called as favorable electrons these electrons will cause the oscillations in the magnetron will help in the oscillations in the magnetron so these unfavorable electrons are not useful which are causing back heating all these favorable electrons forms the electron bunch or an electron cloud let us see that so all the favorable electrons forms the electron bunch which is also called as a spoke or electron cloud and all these electron clouds rotate in the interaction space by the alternate to the alternate anode cavities because here if the negative cycle is going next time here the positive cycle will be there 
of the RF so that these electron cloud rotates in the interaction space which is called as phase focusing effect. And due to that oscillations are created due to phase focusing effect. Let us see the summary. The electrons emitted from cathode most towards anode. Interaction takes place in the interaction space. Inter interaction between electron and RF will takes place. In such a way that all favorable electrons form electron bunch or spokes. These bunches rotate in the interaction space called phase focusing, focusing effect. And all this phase focusing effect will cause sustained oscillations in the magnetron. And magnetron works as an oscillator. The assignment questions are given to you. You can answer to these questions. Justify the statement. Magnetron is an oscillator. You can write the answer to what is phase focusing effect. You can also write. What is known as a zero mode and prime mode of magnetron. These are few of the references which are used for creating this video. Thank you.